What's up everybody, my name is TK. Have you ever wondered if there was a way to fix your shaky footage in post without having to use a stabilizer while you were filming? Well, there is. Right now, I'm going to show you a clip that was composed with shaky footage, but stabilized in post. And then after that clip, I'm going to show you how it looked originally. And then I'm gonna teach you how to do what I just did and fix it up. So let's go. And this is how that same footage looked without any stabilization whatsoever. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got my clips here in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. You can do this with Adobe CC, so once again, don't worry about that. Um, so first of all, as you can see, my footage right now is really shaky. Um, and I want to I fix that so I can make it look usable. Now the best way to do that, and it's the easiest way, is to use something called Warp Stabilizer. So go up into your effects panel up here. I've already got warp typed in. Type in warp and it should come up with warp stabilizer. Click and drag warp stabilizer onto your shaky footage. Now, what warp stabilizer does is it analyzes all the movement in your image. And what it does is it actually warps the image to make the shake look less noticeable and it also crops the image to cover up all the movement that the warp causes. I'll show you what I mean after this finishes processing. Once Warp Stabilizer has finished analyzing your footage, the banner will go away and your footage should be a lot more stable. Let's have a look. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. You can't see any shake at all. There's a bit bit of like a wobbliness, but that's fine because like honestly it looks nice and smooth and it doesn't have any big jitters. So that's that footage I would say is completely saved and that is now usable. If you look under your menu in Warp Stabilizer, you'll see there's a few options here. Now this one here where it says framing, this is what it has done for you in order to get the stabilized footage. Let's have a look what happens if we go to stabilize only without it being cropped. So this is what Warp Stabilizer has done. It's warped your image and made it move around a bit so it doesn't fit exactly in the frame where it was originally placed. But once you click and drag and it analyzes it, it automatically crops it for you. Now I can do this to each one of these clips and they will turn out fine. Keep in mind that some footage isn't recoverable. Now this clip here, this is a little bit different, the one that has been nested. Um, if you want to slow down footage and then use Warp Stabilizer, first you have to right click your footage and go to nest. Otherwise, let's have a little example here. I'm just going to drag this footage over and I'm going to use the stretch tool to slow down the frame rate and make it slower. So now this footage here has been slowed down and I'm going to try and drag warp stabilizer onto the slowed down footage. As you can see, warp stabilizer does not like clips that have been altered. So what you have to do, I'm going to click Control Z to get rid of the warp stabilizer, right click on the clip, click nest, and then that sort of turns it into, it makes the program think that the clip hasn't had anything done to it and that's how it, it originally came in. So I'm going to drag warp stabilizer onto that clip and it's going to work and it's going to start analyzing. So keep in mind guys that you cannot save everything. This clip here was too shaky to recover. This is what it looked like without Warp Stabilizer. And this is what it looks like with Warp Stabilizer. You can just see so much warping and so much jumping. It's, that's not really usable. So you can't save everything guys, but you can save an awful lot of footage. I hope this really helped you guys out. That's all I have to teach you for today. And once again, 
It's a very simple thing to do, but you probably just didn't know about it. Okay guys, thanks for watching everybody. I hope that I was able to help you out with that video and possibly saved your butt with a few clips that you've wanted to use in a video but haven't been able to. Now you probably can. So if you're new to this channel and I just helped you out massively, go on and help me out by hitting that subscribe button and there'll be more sick videos coming, I promise you that. And don't forget to check out these videos next.